two editorial cartoons done by Fred O. Seibel, and one is from 1954, from May of 1954, and one is from, I think, September of 1958 and they were published in the Richmond Times Dispatch. There isn't actually anything in our fourth grade curriculum about World War I or World War II or pretty much anything at all after Reconstruction until we get to civil rights. So the unit that we do this in, we combine Reconstruction and civil rights together. Okay, Brown versus Board of Education. And what is Brown versus Board of Education? What is that? Um, the, the Brown versus Board of Education is when they work to, um, point to talk about um, how, how it's not fair for the black people to be segregated from white people. Great word, segregated, okay? Separate but equals, not really equal. So what does that mean had to happen after Brown versus Board of Education? What does that mean had to happen after Brown versus Board of Education in Virginia? Hey, you. The black. The integrate? There's the word. Okay, they can integrate, right? They can all go to the same school. Remember we talked about segregating and integrating? Remember we talked about that? Okay, so Virginia was told that they had to integrate. Or what's that word? De segregate. Desegregate. Okay. I put together a packet um, that has a table, and I wanted it to be really, really basic that what do you see in the picture, what do you think that that thing that you see in the picture, why did the artist choose to put that in there? The first one is entitled Now What? And it's saying we don't really know what to do at this point because of the Supreme Court desegregation decision. Let me give you the first cartoon. Take a look at it, talk with your buddy for a second. Take one minute to talk with your buddy, what do you see? Okay, let's do this first part together because we did not fill out a chart like this. Okay, so I'm right here on the table, and I want to write down something that I see in this cartoon. I want to write down something I see in this cartoon. What's the first thing that you see in this cartoon? What should I write down? Ermias. Supreme Court segregation. Okay, so you see the word, and what are those words on? Okay, so on my paper, I'm going to write big rock. Right here, big rock. Okay, because that's the first thing I see. There's a big rock in the middle of it. Okay, what are some of the other things I see that I'm going to fill out? What are some of the other things that I see? Tiffany. A boat that says the south. Okay, a boat that says the south. So I'm going to say boat. And I'm going to say the south. Um, in the background, there's like smoke. And... Okay, you pointing this back here? Yeah. Is it smoke? No. Cloud. Cloud? Cloud and wind. wind, and what, what, cloud and wind, what do we kind of call that? Tornado? Okay, bad weather. The boat was actually in the, in the sea before, and it was like going, but then the Supreme Court stopped it. Okay, so she said the reason for the drips coming down from the boat is that it used to be in this water. That's the other thing that we're missing here, right? We're missing that there's an ocean right here, or the sea. What do the directions ask us to do here? Cynthia. Um, it's asking like what it might represent like for for like example big rock. What like um why did the why did the person put the the big rock in there? What does it like represent? Perfect! Why did Fred draw a big rock in the middle of the ocean? Are there usually big rocks in the middle of the ocean like that? No. Okay, so why a rock? Why not a beach? Why not leave the boat in the ocean? Why a rock? Okay, do you understand that question? Make sense, Sabrina? Why a rock, Savan? Because rocks are hard and like the, and big and showing that like the Supreme Court decision was major and how the South looked. Okay, because rocks are hard and big, right? And it's major. It's trying to say the Supreme Court decision is major. So I could write down here that it might represent a big important thing. Okay, but wouldn't, let's say, an island be big? Why a rock? And look at the boat on the rock. Why a rock? Ermia. Because, like, uh, like um, the court, the Supreme Court is, like, hard. It's, like, you can't, like, really deal with them a lot. 
Okay, it's a problem. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so he's saying maybe it's a rock because it's a problem. If I had to draw a problem, a big rock with a boat on top, doesn't it look like the boat has a problem now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Fred gave us a big problem. 